in game one, Fnatic versus TNC. I mean, who are you guys rooting for, man? Who are you guys rooting for? On of Ohio. If you're really rooting for Fnatic, obviously, for TNC. Let's go with the Pulk Champ. Alright, so... First, 1437 playing on the Ogre Magi, Tim's on the Slada, Raven, Marana, Sam H, Omni Knight, with Kukudusa. Dire side for Fnatic, you have Ohio on the offlane Tiny, Pylai die on that Rubik, he's had a great game on it, DJ on the Tuscar, Abed on the Abed Voker and Envy on you can go anyways. You want to set up a lot of side lane kills. Getting fat, maybe laid out the sun strike, just scouting things out. I wanna see I don't think cataclysm should be used in play. I wanna see how Abed skills invoke it because I'm trying to learn the hero again. What's LGF? I know it's GLHF, but what does LGFH potentially stand for? But okay, they will. Rubik set, I like this Rubik set. Parts thing is pretty cool, like a Joker, you know? Kind of reminds you of Suicide Squad Joker. The hair, it does. Up from TNC, they want to perhaps want to try and call. Other. Thirty seconds. for some five second arrows. Thanks. Bit tough, I have to admit. Because the battle begins. Got a lot of fanatic fanboys in the chat, don't we? But Albert will pick up his his brown tune. He's okay, just gonna be safe, just in case the Marana arrow came around, you know. Of course, with Pylida helping him block the creeps, he's going to get a pretty decent block. Against a Dusa, this will be a bit of a tough time with 1437. Obviously, he's going to be sitting mid, you know, just messing around consistently with Abed. It's what, the, it's what the Ogre is meant to do in the middle lane. Picks up the Orb of Venom as well. Pi is there to help dissuade that kind of aggression, or at least deflect part of it away. Laying out the Ignite already. He has Lolo. Pi actually getting that range creeps. But like I said, it will be Ohio against Sam H matchup. Not sure where Envy's he wants to play for. A bit of a lane swap perhaps. But early on, you know, as an invoker, you don't really have that many ways to deal with this kind of goal lanes yet in the middle lane. Which is why Invoker at the first three levels has extremely weak laning presence. I'm walk the whole way. 289 movements. Very slow. Tiny 3 in ones. Yes. Dusa is also not exactly farming too quick. It's just about trading the hits right now. I'm trying to burn each other's region low, right? Really low. I'm trying to force each other out of lane. You know, Pyla even went back with the Fate Vault instead of the Lift. 1437 could just run him down. Why not, right? He has the movement speed advantage. He has the ult with Venom. Armor. Knight. Ahmed probably forced to style very soon, picking up his points in Quas. Wouldn't be surprised if we went to the two points in Quas. Ohio would just mess around the same hitch right now. And you know, DJ is still trying to mess around with the pull, making sure that the pull doesn't get properly pulled off. But it's okay, he can leech this EXP as well. He doesn't really care. The fact, like I said, he just wants to mess around with Cuckoo. At this point, it's all about trying to burn each other's region, like I said. Consumable is about to run out on Cuckoo's side. I'll bet as well. He actually bought his own set of tangos. The Forge Spread is something which you don't want to trade too many hits in, but okay, DJ actually catches an arrow and looks like he will actually end up giving away first blood to Raven. 
good job with the arrow. Leaving the. Cyclops mouse picking class. Last I checked, I wasn't from Thailand. 1 0 TNC. I'm. I don't know, I'm feeling. I'm feeling the Abed Volker this game. I feel like it's a good Invoker game. Now they want to go for Pilot Die. They have the Haste Boom there. Looking for the Crush. Crush Lot. Tims? Right there for a close snap, but 1 for 3 7 is actually falling quite low. Lots of heroes are falling very low. Abed doesn't have enough mana for the Sun Strike, unfortunate. But he's okay, you know. 14 2 on this Rana with the first blood. Raven's fat. One fat kitty kitty cat. 8 and 4 to the Deusa's 14 and 3. I mean, that's all you can do, right? I actually am curious how this Razor versus Omni Knight matchup is going to be. I mean, it's not something that we often see, but mo at least for today, we've seen it like, like already once with Miracle versus Sam H. So if you're Sam H, you, the bit of advantage, I guess, is that you've already played against Razor. You kind of could be able to know how to play against it, but Abed, you're gonna try to jump here onto the Cuckoo. Do they have a cold snap? Yes, they do. Yep, they will use it, trying to get the hits onto Cuckoo. The snowball and the, sorry, not the snowball, the shards and the lift up. Uh, trying to bait, uh, trying to bait, but Abed, he's gonna be okay. And Pilot I getting himself a lovely kill. And of course, if it's Tangos and Quads, he's going to region up just nicely. One kill to Pi. The mid lane is sort of a bit more open for Abed. Try and look for the, for the Ignite on 1437. Doesn't want his clarity to be broken. Tangos to Abed as well. I guess the biggest thing right now is being able to stand in fights, right? Do you want to close snap this? I don't think so. Just wants to burn some of their mana away. Alright, so Tim's as well hasn't had much luck with the gank. Tough his stick though. Falling in, they want to go into Cuckoo with the shots. They have enough damage though. They actually will turn around for 1 for 3 7. They have the cold snap. 1 for 3 7 should actually be dying here. Yes, they will. DJ getting the kill. 2 for 1. And the kill score and Fnatic are looking quite strong. Arbet still refusing to leave the lane. The class Exhort and no, no Wex Exhort this game. Yeah, I guess it makes more sense to go for that this game, especially since you won the region. The Tango, look at that, he's basically almost full HP. In this aspect, he's able to out-sustain the Dusa if you bring in more heroes. No time for Sunstrike kill. Samish just trying to cut the creep wave. Nice and neat. Yeah, look All right, going here onto Rana, lifting back into the air. Ohio has to. Ooh. Throwing his big tree into his face. We're getting a nice double crush out here, looking for the arrow fall up. Won't exactly land, but Raven going for the Star Storm. Second Star Storm will land to a creep, not to Pile I die. Unfortunate. Trying for the Fade Bolt as well. Pi, man, he's really pushing this. Tower actually might actually kill him here. Yes, he will die. Now we're going to fight under the tower. Over extension to the max, tossing him back to the creeps. But it's okay. Tim has the sprint. Going for a snowball play. They're gonna turn around to Tim's. I feel. Tim Serino has a crush. Arrow's gonna fly out. Tim's. We get a double crush. It looks like just baited. But Tim's. Oh, uh, toss him Ohio. It's gonna be a two for two trade. I don't know. It's a three for one trade. Sorry. You have to remember that the Rubik died earlier on, and they actually can make it to the shrine just in the nick of time. I'll bet had a sun strike available. Probably could have helped out a bit. But Tim's and 1437 will go for a smoke gank. They have a hate. Middle tower is under attack. The scan, they know that 1437 and Tim's were looking for a smoke gank. The heroes just disappeared off the map. Yeah, it had a ward there as well. They're kind of setting up, but look at the look at the positioning. Yep, using the forge, but it's scouted at 1437. He's gonna be running all the way in, but hiding inside the trees is Abed. Very nicely done. They can actually turn around for 1437. Won't even need the close snap, but they will give the kill here to Abed. Sweet and nicely done. He's actually 
quite fat considering how the first few minutes went. We talked about the off lane too much here at Sam H. Level 5 still in level 3 and 2 in the verification and degen. Razor having an advantage. Actually chose to max up the static link and unstable current. No points in plasma fuel. 4 to 4. I actually do wonder if TNC will allow Cuckoo to play Invoker. I want to see him on Invoker just one. Capable if he's capable. And Eternal Envy will spot out Tim's back under his tier 1 tower. They don't have three heroes, but over the bottom lane, Raven getting caught up by Ohio trying to toss him away. Never mind, toss his on cooldown. Finding opting to go for treads. No soaring arrow. Gonna be caught by the creep. But the DJ coming in, perhaps they could think about going here onto Raven. Top lane Envy, you knew that there were three heroes there. What are you doing? Crush? Purification, maybe? They want to give the kill away to the Omni Knight? No, they're going to give it to Tim's. Right, so Albert picking up a point in Rex just in case he needs to ghost walk away. Knows that there isn't a sentry, he also knows that there isn't a ward behind the tier 1 tower. Paladai could start with a telekinesis if Cuckoo steps a bit too far further forward. Yep, Telekinesis lifting him into the wonderful play of into the Sunstrike as well. Cuckoo taking off the media. Sunstrike's gonna miss, but it's okay. Cuckoo's dead. Body blocks, body blocks. They have the right click, they have the cold snap, they have the alacrity. One more right click. DJ, never mind. Paladai gets the kill. Sandwich is here with the purification nuke. Tries to turn around for DJ, chasing after him with the face boots. And the bloodlust trying for the shot block. Won't we really get it, but NV me not. Let's get one kill into one for three seven. So two for one. Very nicely across the map, getting these good trades. Pyro's just throwing his tree. Here, take this. Jump. Slala just wants level 6. With the corrosive haze, perhaps they can make easier work of some of the heroes. Albert's gonna get a minus, and he's halfway there. Phase, Aquila, no magic one. Going for the first item for staff. When we saw his. Who did he play again? He went for Heart and Blade Mill. I actually forgot. Oh, it was a Gyrocopter. Yeah, Blade Mill. That one's, that was funky. Static Link, but hold on. Pile I die. Might actually end up turning around for Tim's. They know that Envy didn't get the Static Link damage up, but they're still gonna try and rack it onto Tim's, anyways. Are you sure? Crush, Purification is there. Envy will actually end up dying. He has stick charges, but he's definitely dead. Blocked by the creeps. Tim's gets the return kill. Hyde puts a ward down. Tim's, they want to go for this under the tower. They can. Chasing after him. Sandwiched between Sam H and Tim's. Oof. Have a Sam Tim sandwich. Getting the full proc here on Arbit. That's a ton of damage. Even though you had the range up, but still you had the full magic, full bounce proc. So that's a proc, yeah, it's about 35% increase, maybe about 275 damage. 6-5, about there. NVT being to the top, they want to try and contest TNC's lanes, but TNT are looking quite solid. And Raven has had a very quiet lane for now, he's 4.3k net worth. Almost feels like they figured out they can't really lock him down. Razor will get the top tier 1 deny. Corrosive haste available for Slaughter. Envy wants to try and go for this Sims kill. Going for the static thing. Play. Tons of damage here. Looking for the crush. Uh, Razor's just looking to steal some damage. Right. Quiet pilot looking for the telekinesis lift. They have the snowball. Gonna connect and lift him out. Boris punch. That will be about it. Chase. Yep, they definitely want to chase Sam Hage. Lift. Stunning up and looking for the media play, and no one's gonna land onto the creeps. Media lull. Very preemptive play. He will use his Midas already, pushing out the wave. The, uh, the Abed Volker will start to put more pressure as TNT will feel like they're on the clock. So, this is basically the classic battle between Invoker versus the Dusa. So, is it the Abed Volker or the Cuckoo Dusa? Hi, I'm trying to build this. Drums for 3 7, just wants boots at this point. He is level 6 with no boots at 12 minutes in. Very poor. Phase and. Well, uh, he actually going back for the Mask of Madness build in. I take sending Knight. First troubles to take that bounty. Probably gonna find two. 
has his jump complete. That right click, ow. DJ will get a double damage on a bounce here and they can go for a smoke here to try and find one hero. Could, do they want to? I think they can actually could kill the Marana even without smoke. They could just go right in or even kill, say, Magi. Could toss. Abed getting very nice farm. Tim, close to a dagger actually. 300 gold away, he is fat. Sam H just hanging around at this point. He's just playing the babysitting role, making sure that Tim's gets that dagger. Hi, does one's level six. Look up here, I'm still waiting for that smoke. Could. I think I've been just waiting for the jump. I'll bet still behind this Mirana who has been free farming the whole time with the bloodlust. Of course, with the deep and the quilla, they can take the tier one tower, take a bit of damage out at least. If Tim extremely close, let's wait for two. Mo let's wait like one more minute, I guess. Get the both bounty runes, get the creep, easy. Alright, Ohio and DJ will look for one kill. They could look to try and stall Tim's blink deck. I think they found it, but he's on the run looking for the snowball. Tim's running all the way, caught by the shot, trying to get the crusher. This could be big sun strike and. Oh, won't even get the sun strike. Oh, Hyrule's just gonna bring him down, and Tim's is dead. They're pinging out saying, "Hey, there's a ward here." That's how they got the snowball range because night vision basically means you should not have been able to see that hero over the bottom lane now. Maybe think you're trying to contest, going for the cold snap, telekinesis lift. Do not have enough damage. Raven's fine, getting the stun up, looking for the arrow. They will get the tower deny, but they should be able to kill the Rubik as well, looking for the star storm just to get some damage off. No way to save his teammate. I better have to watch helplessly and build his way towards that Aghanim Scepter. Alright, so they're going to try and pressure this tier, tier 1 tower. Corrosive phase onto Ohio means he has no armor whatsoever. Rough game, you know. Tim's. Yeah, he's, he has his blink dagger now. This, this is good for him. Could pretend like he doesn't have it. Warriors punch. Go on to Sam H. Looking for the arrow. It's going to fly in the wrong direction. 1437's here. Messing around with DJ. And DJ will have to accept his fate and die to this Omni Knight. TNC looking very strong in this game one. TNC, he's found the ward exactly. He's like, found it. They warded. Now we'll have a dagger. Scanning out the Omni Knight. They know that there's someone mid. No tier 1 towers left standing for the side of Fnatic as they continue to try and buy more space for Arbet to farm up his Aghanim Scepter at 15 minutes. Dusa, meanwhile, has been farming the whole time. Cuckoo almost has that 4 staff after this Mask of Madness. Jump here into the pile, I die, Rubik. Tim's could think about going for it. Radiance bottom tower is under a radiant scan. We'll chase after the slaughter. Almost a level four sprint. Then we'll see that 700 movement speed in the river. Contest the bounty runes. I want to try and jump here onto the Medusa. Knows that doesn't have much mana. Looking for the Sun Strike arrow. Everything's actually going to miss. But the arrow actually caught by the Ogre Magi. I'm going to turn around now for Ohio. They will use the Cursive Haze on him. One more right click and it will be enough. Good kill here for Cuckoo. Take care of the ward as well. Rana finds Highlight Die. Man, it's a lot of damage actually from this Raven. And at this point right now, it feels like Envy is probably regretting not banning out that Omni Knight. Tim's looking for that one stun. They need to buy more time for the Arbed Volker. Still hasn't even completed his point booster. DJ just farming out the top lane. Looks like they will give away this tier 2 tower for free. As TNC is scaling so quickly at 16 minutes in. 6,000 gold advantage to boot. They can. Right, Raven. He 
Do us the story, the highlight of the story right now with 8,500 gold. I'm about to make. Hello to all of you tuning in on chat. And this is the MDLs, the qualifier semi finals. So the winner of this series will go ahead to play Mineski tomorrow. And that's gonna be. Who's gonna win? Will we see a match? Will we see a rematch? That's the question. Will we see the rematch between Fnatic and Mineski? Or will TNC be the ones to say, hey, nope, forgetting about us? Uh, lurking inside the enemy jungle, they will look to pressure the top tier too. As the top tier, the bottom tier one will go the way of Ohio. Haven't seen Envy really come into play just yet. He had a great start in the lane. Yeah, I mean, balance seven, 700 movement speed, guys. Trying to start the Roshan here for TNC. They are thinking about it. Raven already took the top tier too. They can go together with Raven and the Medusa. I think they actually have enough damage because of Kuro's pace. The face? Hold on. Okay, Sunstrike is gonna scout out the Roshan attempt. So they kind of know what's going on, but the thing is they don't have the heroes to kind of deal with it at the moment. It almost feels like, you know, tiny fits the, the criteria of farming off lane. Not someone who really participates in fights and creates space like a Titan would. Feels like. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Okay, two to each damage, but they want to they definitely want to fight up here. Looking to Tim to start the fight and needs to force the issue. It's been easy tier two. Ohio has a shadow bit up, throwing out his tree onto Cuckoo. That doesn't actually give a hoot. He's just like, alright, cool, cool story, bro. And they will take a free tier two tower. Dyer's middle tower. Raven continuously catching up. You know, 9,500 gold. Being farm, Sanjin Yasha now onto Time H. Fnatic are just having to deal with the cancer which they have been dishing out, at least in their past few games. Boker will finally have that. Aghanims on the way. He just needs the courier to get to the secret shop. Smoke gank out from TNC. They could find many, many kills. They have a good observer ward over here. They should kind of know where they are. They should have known. That's why the Fnatic are just about to enter the jungle. Smoke break. I'm not sure they're gonna be popped. Looking for the crush to get the corrosive face. Looking for the arrow. Tuscar is dead. DJ, one, two, three. Raven, easy. No, Ohio trying to pressure off the bottom lane. Doesn't know that Cuckoo is nearby. We all Shadow Blade away. Doesn't want to. I think Slaughter and Medusa together could actually kill Ohio. Ohio's picking it out, trying to, trying to bait Cuckoo, the mana shield is off as well. He could, I mean Medusa is so far out by herself, Slada is still so far behind as well. But it doesn't look like the rest of TNC want to, or the rest of Fnatic want to try for this kill. They're saying it's probably too tanky, too risky, and not to mention because Medusa has an Aegis as well. Envy just wants to get his BKB. TNC grouping up already, no more auto towers left. The next key is high ground. Pretty pop drums. Probably wanted some bass. Motivational music. Do we have the tools to break high ground on the cuckoo? I don't think he actually wants to wait for an IO Scotty before breaking high ground. They just need to find one pickoff and that's enough for them to go high ground. But they want to try and siege the enemy jungle. They have wards that they know that Pile I die. Just went on the way back looking for the arrow to land. Oh, it's gonna connect into Abed. Where's the jump? Tim's going for it and going on inside the base. Abed getting the nice, beautiful double crush. He can get Pile I die as well. Pile I die is dead. They can find DJ. Just diving the enemy tier 3 casually. Cuckoo with the double. And Envy's almost dead. Looking for a few more right clicks. Envy might actually die here. Never mind. Makes it back in time. And with the double buybacks out. Crush. Corrosive Haze. What an arrow coming up from Raven. 
And one way to just break the bank on the side of Fnatic. No invoker for 30 seconds. Fortification will be used. They still have an Aegis. All right, Dusa is fat. Ohio's gonna try and wreck this. Maybe try and get a stun out here. Toss him all the way back to the tier 4 towers. They have it. It's okay. Envy is getting some of that damage away. They pop out the Guardian Angel. Ohio gonna be saved. Never mind. DJ drags him back into the snowball. But this Aegis will finally break. Envy getting stunned up by the arrow early on. Cuckoo, but he popped the stone gaze now. Couldn't choose to stun up. But actually, Raven will get the Envy kill. And Envy will probably have to buy back from this if they want to try and fight. Having the repel stuff onto Cuckoo, they're going for the tier 3 tower. Why not? Tornado coming out. It's gonna completely miss. I better look at the stun strike. I mean, the cold snap EMP. Never mind. Four staff away, and they almost bring the tier 3 tower down. They're happy with what they got. Two buybacks. That's big enough if you are TNT. Extremely happy. 13,000 net worth advantage. The cores are just so massive. Now Cuckoo can probably think about. BOT is on the way for Arbet, so the greedy build, he wants to just spit open the map. Alright, so... Next on the Dusa after the Scotty. Well, not too sure this yet, but this Marana, Hurricane Pike already. I mean, everyone's just so big. You can do whatever they want, right? Oh, hell, also trying to split the map up. Yeah, this is just clash of interest when it comes to farm priority. You guys are looking for Cyclops, he is on the main beyond. He's Dota. But here in the Southeast Asian qualifier, you know, Sam Hage, taking care of the creep wave, Ohio will find him. And just immediately TP out. Uh, they were smoked out looking for some potential picks in their side of the map. Doesn't know about this observe ward over here. The sneaky ward. Sneaky ward is just being placed to scout out these kind of. So that you can properly. S okay, so. It's gonna carry this game at this point. I said that it's off the lanes, and this Medusa is just. 6,000 ahead of this invoker. Radiance top tower is under attack. Tiny going back into a solar crest. They just want to take the tier 1 towers, then maybe perhaps they can open up the map, try for the smoke. Try for the smoke gank. They want to try and make a play happen here together with the invoker. Something they need to do. Where will they go? Where will they kill? Not sure just yet. I mean, it's so difficult. They smoke just to push up the top lane. They have a tier 1 tower there as well. So, I mean, I guess they just want to get there quicker. Lincoln's completed into Cuckoo as well. He actually chose to go into that one defensive item so that he can't get jumped as easily, which is which is pretty good. Tim's to make some more beautiful plays. I like how he held the crush early on so that he could get the Rubik's done as well. Looks like they're about to get the tier 3 tower. It's another EMP looking for the four steps out. Okay, dodging everything. And all is good, all is healthy. They put they know that it's a ward there. Looking for that toss back again. Hello, there was a sentry there, Ohio. That, that sneaky play won't work a second time. Just like that, they will probably try to get that one lane of Rax. Arrow flying in, not able to do anything much. They will break the Lincolns. Snowball coming in. Oh dear, oh dear. DJ, DJ, that's not that's not the way to go. Oh, beautiful Avalanche actually catching teams in the crush. Curse of Haze can be thrown into Ohio. But uh, no, they're definitely gonna get this melee Rax. Gonna break the Lincolns one more time. It will be a full lane of barracks going the way of TNC. Happy what they got, no risks involved, and they will go for a shrine. Alright, so shrine taken out, and it looks like Fnatic. They are the ones who are now playing from a 20,000 net worth disadvantage. Radiant 
10 ob at pull whatever is in you know all, with all that experience in any maps being able to play 4v5 goes into the blink dagger instead of boots of travel instead realizes that yeah his team does lack initiation so he is the one who actually may have to initiate for his team you can see he Now TNC, perhaps they can think about taking the top shrine. Roshan's up in 35 seconds. They can slowly play this out. They have the farm advantage. What they can also do is just... Right, and I bet that's gonna teep out. Trying to build into an Octarine core. And now another smoke coming up from TNC. Deuce's not there, but they could actually try to cut off Fnatic's advance. Like, they could get the Rubik, they could get the Tiny. Or even jumping to the base right now wouldn't be half bad, purely because the invokers alone, they could. Never mind. Do they know? Do they have a ward there? Yeah, that's their own ward. They they've they found them. Getting the crusher onto Ohio. Repel, Ohio is just dead in one, two, three. I mean Raven does so much damage. One for three seven will burn him down with the ignite, however. And Pali die inside. Jungle, do they still want to try and fight this dip? They will go for counter smoke, Abed, DJ, and Envy. This is where this is the play they needed to make using a scan from both sides. I don't even know whose scan is whose, but they're just gonna TP out. They don't want to take the risk. And immediately TNC will dodge the smoke gank, the outread fanatic. And just like that, they can't do anything. It's gonna be a wasted smoke, a wasted wasted time. So, you know, farm not going away to Ab Feeling the pain and TNC will take back the side to try and contest the Roshan with one more smoke, which they do not have. And double damage here as well. They don't even need that double damage for the for the Roshan. They can go straight to the top lane, creep with his push as well. Big stuff, big stuff. Cheese and all. themselves game one or they can actually just push them through the middle lane as well and they can just take the last range racks go straight for the top Tims, he's looking he's looking for those crushes boy down shouldn't know there's no sentry but kuku will start in the front lines creep wave is already there and should be able to take that tier one tower so tier three tower these tornado coming out with the emp done okay backdoor protection arrow Connects onto the Razor. Did he want to go in though? Sides waiting ever so eagerly. Double damage already gone. Looks like the plan is for Kuku is just to shove the middle lane in first so that they have different priorities. They need to decide what they're going to do, Fnatic. And Kuku still happily stands on the front line. He doesn't actually care. Takes care of the sigil. Get the tower. Here to fall. Tossing him back once more. They want to kill him off. Punches him up into the air. Medusa's okay. Static thing to steal some of that damage. Avalanche fires out one more time. And with the disarm as well. Timing's a bit off, but hey, Envy doesn't exactly hurt that much. Even though he stole 253 damage. I'm not sure why. Alright, so now they're going to start pushing for this top lane. Rax, like I said, they will try to go for this. Tossing him back in once more. Boris punch up into the air, static link. They just rinse and repeat. The double crush coming out from Tim's. Media's gonna fly out, landing only onto one. And there'll be one, actually two heroes immediately dead on the side of Fnatic. What can they do? Tim's with the follow-up extremely quick. I bet going for the tornado play. EMP into the sun strike. They will try to get Kuku down. They can't even lower him down. I bet the Kursi is onto him. He takes way too much damage. Ohio's gonna try and rack kick time hit, but Raven just does all these free kicks. Click, click, click. Down goes Ohio. And it looks like DJ to fall him into the grave. Three heroes dead. Instant GG from Fnatic and TNC. Very quick game. 